Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 9th through the 15th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aquarius. <coughs> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Wands. This is a cool energy. I feel like it's somebody around you uh, trying to bring in some good energy for you. I'm not sure if it's, um, I kind of see it as uh, something outside of the situation you're dealing with. So it could be friends, family trying to, to bring something up for you, more fun, more, I don't know, something like that, where I don't see it directly involved in this, but um, in the recent past, the Hangman, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. Um, there is definitely a need to stand still, you know, to stop in your tracks and stand still. Uh, you've got quite the resistance to that. I'm not sure if the resistance is coming from you or you're just being pulled out of this energy. So, so let's say, okay, tomorrow I'm planning to just be with me and that's it. And then tomorrow you get a hundred phone calls from a hundred places, different places that just want something from you or something. Um, where that's where I say, I don't know if the resistance is coming from you in the sense of if you set your mind up to have a day like that, you just shut off your phone. Doesn't matter, you know? Whatever's happening out there, not your problem. But you keep that phone open, and that's where I see the resistance coming from you, potentially. You know, because, yeah, there's, oh, there's definitely a, I'm making up my mind about something, kind of an aspect, but then there's resistance to it somehow. Um, in the current situation, the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Um... Something has shown up as being very, very complicated. It's a situation that you're directly involved in and it affects you 100%. So it's something very meaningful to you, but it looks complicated. It looks like you can't really grasp it, like you can't really, like you feel stuck or something. You know, you, you don't know what move to make next and things like that. All right, in the uh, immediate future, the temperance card, the moon, the page of cups. Um, there's definitely the passage of time here that feels like it's gonna make it all settle down for you in a weird way, in a way that you probably didn't even expect or something. Cause you probably think that time is not gonna fix this and it actually turns out that it's not fixing it, but it's definitely placing you at least in a better position, in a better energy, in a more steady kind of an energy. So time does help. But well, let's clarify. Let me see the Knight of Wands. The Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's this energy that's coming through, almost like, again, know if supportive necessarily but definitely with a good intention with the something is feeling good about it but i feel like you're putting it on hold um like it's in standby yeah it's coming through and it wants to come in but you're not letting it because it's on hold it's like later we'll talk later you know you're you're postponing it it's, it's a good one though it might uh if not help you directly with what you're dealing with, then at least give you that cushion, you know, to, to fall on. Because it feels very complicated here, whatever this is. Uh, let's do the hangman. In the recent past, you get the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Six of Cups. Now, something was bugging you here about a particular soul connection. Something was not sitting right with you. And instead of just standing still and allowing for those energies that were unsettling to pass through, you know, you had to 
kind of either resist those energies and you know i have to know what's 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 going on here what's at play what da, 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 da. it's like okay you have to know but no later you know right now just stand still let's see what happens i don't think you did that uh let's do the nine of wands in the recent past you get the ten of pentacles the four of wands the emperor that's quite the long-term commitment that you're showing me here and then part of you rejecting that but part of you a bigger part of you being part of it okay <clears throat> let me do the four of pentacles the devil the five of cups the ten of cups oh that's what it is didn't you have this recently maybe in the september reading was it you somebody here is having a really hard time letting go of something and that doesn't benefit them and that doesn't benefit the situation at all if anything it makes it worse Whatever that is, that somebody here has a real struggle just letting go of, it complicates things big time. Okay. Now it's starting to make a little more sense. Now that's in the past there. Hopefully you've managed to work through that, even though I don't, know, I don't see much of a change in energies from there to here, but... For the Hierophant, you get the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Oh, if there's any kind of difference from there to here is that you pushed it quite far away from you. Like almost saying, I don't give a shit about what happens here. I'm good where I'm at. I'm happy with me. Just me and me. If you're so happy, that what, why, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is this troublesome kind of an energy in your mind showing up? If there's so much happiness here, you know? Let's see. Oh, well. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Sun. Because that's not the end result that you want for, for this. The end result that you want for this is for things to work out. That's your intention. That's your desire. And you're doing quite the opposite and saying you're happy about it. And then you're stressing out about, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, way in the background there. Let me do the seven of cups. It's time to start aligning with what you truly feel. And if it's you over there that's having a hard time letting go of things, ask yourself why. You know, well, they did this and they did that and they... How does it help you to hang on to all of that? They did that. Okay. What did that do for you? Well, it hurt me. Heal that. And they didn't hurt you. You know, they didn't do it to hurt you. They did it to teach you something. For future references. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups. Okay, yeah. Because there are options to work on this if you truly want to work on this. First thing I, were, I would do if I were you right now, I would really tune into myself and I would be brutally honest with myself about how I truly feel about the situation. From that point on, I would know what to do next. You know, I'm still hanging on to shit that happened let me work on that let me see what the hell i'm doing that I, I have a hard time with let me see what that brings up for me it has nothing to do with them and what they did through that they brought something up in you that you're having a hard time working with and it's just complicating things you know but like again first thing honesty but like really honest, not, oh, I don't give a shit about them. Oh, look how happy I am. That's not honesty, you know? That's trying to prove a point. That's not even true. So, honesty. And then take it from there. You know, you can work with things, with letting go of things against others that were 
there and did those things for us to learn something out of that, not to hang on and create this bigger mess than it already is. For the Temperance card in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Wands, the Death card, the Five of Swords. Nah, you're, you're, you're feeding an energy that's unhealthy here for you. And you keep on doing it. You're feeding that type of an energy that it kind of sinks you into your own little hole. You know, that feels not great from what I'm seeing. So you're feeding that energy of, I don't give a shit. I'm happy where I'm at. That comes from you not letting go of whatever happened there. You know, and from your resentment built on that. And at the end of the day, it doesn't feel great for you. Because if, if, if all of this felt good to you, I would be like, yeah, hell yeah, do this. Do this a hundred times. But it doesn't feel good for you. You know? <clears throat> Let's do the moon in the immediate future. Yeah, that's... Keep on seeing the energies and the universe keeps on showing me the energies that are really at play. Not how you turn them by choosing all sorts of, you know, I'm going to hang on to this. I'm going to despise you for it. I'm not going to be able to stand you or anybody that looks like you, acts like you, has the same color of eyes like you. You suck and everybody that is associated with anything from you sucks. I'm the best one. <laughs> I don't know. But um, the truth of the matter is, you know, if... if if you choose to look at that truth, to go in a little deeper than that surface kind of mental grab on things, because that's what's happening here. Your mind is taken over completely and is deciding how you're going to feel, how you're going to behave and all of that. But if you were to go beyond that a little deeper, you would see the truth. This is quite the important connection to you. Whether it's because, okay, they were this, that and the other and they did this, that and the other. They did it to teach you some valuable lessons about yourself here. What happens after you get to decide, but from that right place for you, from that balanced place for you, not from the mind taking over and doing whatever. That's not balanced. You know, the mind is the house of fear. Fear brings in insecurities and decisions, doubts, all sorts of things like that. And nobody likes those things. You know, we can have them, but that doesn't mean we like them. So I can see the truth that's at the core of this. Now you have to see it too. Uh, for the Page of Cups in the immediate future, you get the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords. Finally, the little light at the end of the tunnel is starting to show up for you. You're walking on that path of finding that truth. So after quite a minute here of a little bit of a tantrum from what I'm seeing, which extended into something more than just a little bit of a tantrum, um, you're letting it go. You're like, okay, you know, I know what I have to do. And I know you know what you have to do. Sometimes you gotta go through the, these little kinds of energies to reveal, um, you know, the energy that's right for you. So, you know, you got to go through what's not right for you to, to get to what's right for you. So you'll get there. You'll get there. Um, you're quite stubborn about things here. I'm not surprised. You're a fixed sign. I know how we work. Fixed signs. I'm not even going to go there with the stubbornness. No. Okay. But you know you're doing it despite you. I don't care. I can harm myself if I want to. I don't care for me. I don't care for anything. I know how we go. Um, from the universe for you, you get the Empress, the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords. Yeah, and you've created quite the distance between you and this energy, you know, through this, which I'm not surprised. Whether that's a physical distance or an emotional one or a just, I'm just going to shut myself down to you. Whichever way it goes, there's quite the distance at play for now, which... It's usually how it goes down when these energies are at place. So, okay. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.